Hi KT3B, how are you? Hope everyone is good and safe. I miss you so much. In this video, I need to talk a little bit about the addition lesson. Uh, I know that you all is doing great in all the work that I sent to you guys. Uh, I'm proud of you. I still need to add one more thing on our addition lesson. And after that, I have a nice activity for you that you can play with it at home with your parents. I hope you will like it. Miss you so much and hope to see you very soon. Okay, guys. So our subject is math. Now, we start first with the horizontal addition equation. Remember what we did in class? In horizontal addition, numbers like to sit beside each other, right? In this way, from left to right. In this way, from left to right. For example, if I have 4 plus, remember that in adding, we use the plus sign. So in addition, we use the plus sign. 4 plus, let's say 2. Now, what should I put over here? I should put the equal sign. Don't forget the equal sign. It's very important. Now, 4 and the plus sign in the middle, 2 and the equal sign over here. Now, I should put the counters. Remember the counters that we used in class? I put the counters above each number. So for number 4, I use 4 counters. 1, 2, 3, 4. And for number 2, I put 2 counters. Now, what should I do? I should count in all. Let's count them in all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my answer is 6. 6 what? In all. When I say in all, it means that I should count them all together to get the answer. So what do we call this kind of addition equation? Horizontal addition equation. Now, let me remind you about this thing now. You remember when we talked about adding double? Adding doubles. Oh my God, Ms. Sahar. Adding doubles, it means that both numbers, they should be the same. Let me give you an example. Let's say if I have 2 plus, what do you think this number should be? It should be exactly the same like this number. So 2 plus 2 plus. Here I have same numbers, right? That's the meaning of adding doubles. Now, what can I do now? And the equals over here. Don't forget the equals sign. Now I can draw counters. If you don't want to draw a circle, we can change the circle into, let's say, a square. So here I have two, I draw two squares. Here I have two, I draw two squares. Like this. Now I count in all. Well, let's count them in all. One, two, three, four. So my answer is four in all. Okay, guys. So this is about horizontal addition and adding doubles. Now let's go to our new addition equation. Here I have the vertical addition equation. Oh my God, what's the meaning of vertical addition equation? Now the numbers, they're not going to stand beside each other anymore. No more standing beside each other. Only in horizontal equation, they stand beside each other. In vertical, they like to stand above each other. Let me show you how. Let's say if I have three, okay? Now, the second number will come and he will sit directly under the three. Let me give you like two, okay? So three plus two. Now you will think, where should I put the plus sign? Do I put it under them? No, Ms. Sahar. I should put it beside them over here, like this. Now, you will say, oh, but Ms. Sahar, where should we put the equal sign? In vertical addition, we don't have equals anymore. The equals will change into a long line, like this. This long line will sit under the two numbers, like this. So, it will be in this way, 3 plus 2. And the line will sit under the two numbers. Now I can draw counters. Look, I draw three counters next to number three, two counters next to number two. Now I'll count them in all. One, two, three, four, five. The answer is five. I put it directly under the line. Five in all. So this is 
all about the vertical addition equation. It goes from top to bottom. Okay, guys, hope you understood it. Now, my lovely kids, I will show you the activity that I chose uh, for you. Here I have an ice tray. Here I have some marbles. And here I have a dice and a piece of paper and this marker. Okay, I will throw the dice first. Here I got one. So I get one marble and put it over here. Now I should do it again. Here I got four. So I will start. One, two, three, and four. I put them under it. Okay. Now, what should I do now? I should count in all. But before, I should write my addition equation. First, I have one. Then plus. Then I got four. I put it like this. And the equal sign. Now, how many in all? I count them all in all. One, two, three, four, five. So the answer is five in all. Hope you like this activity. Love you all.